Do you feel like a citizen, Fenris? Excuse me? You've been in Kirkwall as long as I have. Does it feel like home? I have no comparison, really. It feels like a free place. Maybe that's enough. We shall see. I had hoped to find you. Unlike the rest of the Ba's filth in this city, the Ereshach considered you Bazalit An. Many Kanari fell in Kirkwall when we departed. I am sent to gather their swords. If you find a Kanari sword, return it to me. Don't you want their bodies, too? Their husks serve no purpose. The weapons shall satisfy a demand of the Kuhn. I'll keep an eye out. You will find me here. There are so many... <sighs> things. I don't even know what any of it is. There's a war coming. Does it feel different, fighting by choice? You were never ordered to kill? I was a soldier, but I was willing. I was willing as well, but not by choice. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does anything in this mess. More trouble than commerce in this place. It really is, Hugh. Verania? I... I remember you. We played in our master's courtyard while Mother worked. You called me... Leto. That's your name. What's wrong? 
Why are you so... Fenris, we have to get out of here. Ah, my little Fenris. Predictable as always. I'm sorry it came to this, Leto. You led him here. Now, now, Fenris, don't blame your sister. She did what any good Imperial citizen should. I never wanted these filthy markings, Daenerys. But I won't let you kill me to get them. <laughs> How little you know, my pet. And this is your new master, then? The champion of Kirkwall? Impressive. Fenris doesn't belong to anyone. Do I detect a note of jealousy? <laughs> it's not surprising. The lad is rather skilled, isn't he? Shut your mouth, Daenerys! <sighs> the word is master. No choice, Leto. Stop calling me that. He was going to make me his apprentice. I would have been a magister. You sold out your own brother to become a magister. You have no idea what we went through, what I've had to do since Mother died. This was my only chance. And now you have no chance at all. Please, don't do this. Please, tell him to stop. Wait. Don't kill her. Why not? She was ready to see me killed. What is she to me other than just one more tool of the Magisters? This is your family, Fenris. Get out! You said you didn't ask for this, but that's not true. You wanted it. You competed for it. When you won, you used the boon to have Mother and I freed. Why are you telling me this? Freedom was no boon. I look on you now, and I think you received the better end of the bargain. I thought discovering my past would bring a sense of belonging, but I was wrong. Magic has tainted that too. There is nothing for me to reclaim. I am alone. You have friends. Is that what we are? You do have friends, Fenris. You heard what Verania said. I wanted these. I fought for them. I feel unclean. Like this magic is not only etched into my skin, but has also stained my soul. Let's go. I need to get out of here. You 
were more naive than I thought. What have I done to you now? To me? Nothing. Not yet. To yourself? You can't even begin to imagine the number of mages that have walked down the path you're now on. My clan didn't believe in me. If you don't believe in me either, I won't mind. Do you regret it? What happened with your sister, I mean? No. You don't wish that maybe you haven't found her again? Whatever I wish, it is already done. You're lucky then. There are so many things I wish I could undo. you to stick around for this mess, Meryl. This has nothing to do with your elves. I love Hawk. I wouldn't go anywhere. But it's not your fight. I love Hawk. You said that. I say it a lot. It makes things clearer. It takes away doubt when everything is crazy and people are dying. I understand. Oh, good. Someone should. It's a pleasure to meet the champion of Kirkwall. If you need anything at all, let me know. Do you think we'll win? Win what? In the end. It feels like something is ending, doesn't it? Do you think we'll win? Nothing is ending, Meryl. Things are a little tense, but it will pass. I hope we win. Barrick will make it a good story, I'm sure. at the moment, but even Hightown has its troubles. You know, you could go anywhere you like now. I'm aware of that. Oh. You could become a raider. You could join my crew. The crew of your non-existent ship? Well, with that attitude, you're never going anywhere, are you? She doesn't understand. Yes, I am free. Daenerys is dead. Yet, it doesn't feel like it should. You thought killing him would solve everything. But it doesn't. I suppose not. I thought if I didn't need to run and fight to stay alive, I would finally be able to live as a free man does. But how is that? My sister is gone, and I have nothing. 
Not even an enemy. Maybe that just means there's nothing holding you back. Hmm. An interesting thought. It's just... difficult to overlook the stain that magic has left on my life. If I seem bitter, it's not without cause. Perhaps it is time to move forward. I just don't know where that leads. Do you? You're still blaming magic for everything. Think about it, Hawk. Look at what happened to your mother, your sister, so many others. Is there anyone whose life has been touched by magic that actually benefits? Blaming magic isn't the answer. There are problems enough in this world without putting such power in the hands of those too weak to resist its allure. Them, I fear, as should you, as should anyone. But what's important now is moving forward. I only wish I knew where that led. Nobody knows the future, Fenris. The future of a slave is never uncertain. But I am no longer a slave. Perhaps it is time I remember that. Thank you, Hawk. Of all the things I thought to find here, a friend was not one of them. Wherever the future leads, I hope it is at your side. Whatever you need, I'm ready to assist. So, how good is Donick? Is he cocksure? Just get it out of your system. Did he curl your toes? Grope your grinder? Dampen your divine? Cadis your Katie? Gray your warden? Or master your taint? That's an old one. Yes, all right. He's an incredibly proficient lover. Happy? Well, that's rather personal, don't you think? The bar at the Blooming Rose stocks some very fine wine. Sorry, ass, up to this part of town. I'm just here for the medicinal I was thinking of changing my hairstyle. That's brilliant. You've had this one for seven years now. Do you think you'll leave Kirkwall someday? Of course I will. As soon as I get myself a ship, I'm sailing wherever the sea takes me. I'll miss you. You'll write to me, won't you? Do pirates write letters? <laughs> Badly. Hook hands make for awful penmanship, kitten. That's his room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. I don't know if I can pull this off. Come on. 
Haven't you ever wanted to slap me? Just a little? Absolutely. Yes. Wait, w w what are we voting on? I wasn't asking you people. Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. I'll wait outside the room. Good luck. Not the best place for the captain of the guard to be seen, Hawk. I'm not exactly sure why we keep coming here. Ah, the blooming rose. Where people come, then... Oh. Set. I'm not exactly sure why we keep coming here. What? Get back here, you... Skittish bitch. I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I have a present for Castillo. Present for... What? I'm the champion of Kirkwall. I have to think about my reputation. I thought I could trust you. Remember that time you ran off with the Tome of Coslin? This is like that. Only funnier. <coughs> you backstabbing little shit. You'd better start sleeping with one eye open. Castillo will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. They just dragged Isabella out of here. We should follow. This appears to be this good. Is Isabella's trail. Mind you, I imagine demand is fairly constant. This belongs to Isabella. This is Isabella's trail. to low town.
Your uncle must be happy to have his hovel back to himself. Isabella's leading me to the docks. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillon to go easy on you. Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the bitch was up to something! Kill them! Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. That should do it. 
So Castillon's looking to expand his slaving business. Why am I not surprised? These documents should go to the guard. We'll at least arrest his accomplices. And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. What happened to getting rid of Castillon? I am getting rid of him. Through peaceful means. Coming from here, that's priceless. I saw the ship docked in the harbor, Castillon. She is splendid. I want her. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. Castillon dies here today, if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> Enough with the blackmail, then. Let's settle this like civilized people. Wait! supposed to do with these useless documents I hate to state the obvious but I could use them fine take the blasted things go dispense justice or whatever after all we've been through together how could you do that to me think about it you know he didn't deserve to walk <sighs> no he didn't I really hate it when you're right
done. Sick as sin, but I outlived the Viscount. Don't ask where it comes from and... You'll get the best. That's what you want, isn't it? Rather be free down here. What an awful place this is.
So, Donick was in the rose. He was not. Easy, big girl. He wasn't shopping for himself. You're lucky to have a man who wants to please you. But maybe you could indulge him more. Are there areas of intimacy you haven't explored? Why? Why do you give me these doubts? Aveline, if you shove your thumb up his ass, I win. Ooh! You didn't come to my solstice dinner party. Look at you. Dinner parties, cooking. Do you have a lace apron yet, or should I get one for you? Don't change the subject. I sent you an invitation, and you didn't show up. I thought it would be... I mean, I don't know. I just don't do family gatherings. Besides, one day you and Donick will have children, and I'll be the last person you want around them. Imagine all the awkward questions you'd have to answer. Mother, what's a slattern? I'll just point at you and say, that's a slattern. You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Ah, you're still here. At least some things are constant in this ever-changing world. What? If you call me your rock or your foundation, I'm gonna hit you. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. You've been a good friend and a constant source of excitement. Oh. You do know how to flatter a girl. It's funny. Now that I think about it, getting a ship just doesn't seem that important. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> a toast to friendship and to us. I have something I think you might like. Uh... I see. It's from your homeland. It's a Ravani talisman. It's a Ravani fertility talisman. These petal-like shapes represent... certain fleshy bits. And this protrusion is... well, just look. You're an expert on Ravani talismans, are you? My mother was a Ravani seer. Or... Rather, she pretended to be. She knew enough about the old tribal practices to put on a convincing act. She used to hand these things out to women all the time. Ah. Oh, dear. And all this time, I thought it was just a flower. Ravani women would wear these so that their wombs would be fruitful and their marriages blessed with many children. Not that they worked, of course. <laughs> Seems to me you either have a fruitful womb, or you don't. That it's nice to have something to remind me of my homeland. marriage been treating you big girl it's been good no great I'd forgotten what it was like to be flipped ass over tits and hammered like a bent nail to be loved oh right of course not that I'm complaining about the other thing
All quiet around here, Captain. Good. Carry on. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. Your reputation precedes you. Forgive me. I should introduce myself properly. My name is Nancio Caldera Lanos. I am a noble from the beautiful country of Antiva. Is there something I can help you with? I've come to you in search of aid. An elven assassin I have been chasing is loose in the area. Unfortunately, he's hidden himself among the local Dalish, no doubt playing on their shared heritage. He's a master manipulator who will endanger even his own kind to ensure his survival. You don't seem the type to hunt assassins. Why are you after him? At first, it was merely a duty to Antiva. But after losing so many good men to him, it became personal. He's nothing but a murderer, a thief, and a liar. Your assassin is no fool. I doubt the Dalish would hand a fellow elf over to you, murderer or no. Ah, so you see my problem. Where that elf goes, death follows. He must be captured quickly. I've heard of your dealings with the Dalish. I was hoping you could go where my men could not. Find out where the assassin is hiding, and apprehend him. I'll see what I can do. One of the Dalish, a woman named Variel, is a friend of his. I suggest speaking with her first. We won't be here when you get back. We got a campsite outside the city. Look for us there. We have to move soon. Can't you talk to the keeper? Reason with her. I tried. She's made up her mind. Greetings, champion. That is what they call you in your city, isn't it? Did you need something? I hear there is a criminal hiding among the Dalish. He is not among us. This criminal of yours is set up in a cave away from our camp. He said there would be people looking for him, and to tell anyone who asked where he was. Why would he give away his position? He said he didn't want to endanger our people by asking us to lie for him. Not something you'd expect from a cruel and evil murderer, is it? He'll be waiting for you at the cave. Good luck trying to reach him, however. Strange. The man wants to be found.
English crafting is second to none, I assure you. Strange. The man wants to be found. Can't say our man wasn't prepared. Watch your step. That should do it.
Now you, I wasn't expecting. I thought I smelled Antivan leather. <laughs> Isabella! If it isn't my favorite pirate wench. <laughs> Shouldn't you be dead by now? I could say the same, my dear. It seems we were both fortunate to find powerful friends, no? How do you do? My name is Zevran Aranai, adventurer and occasional assassin. I must admit, I was waiting for an assault by the Crows, not the mighty champion of Kirkwall. How do you know I'm the champion? Slayer of Kunari, Deep Roads Explorer, and, may I say, one fine specimen of manhood? You underestimate your fame. How do you two know each other? How does anyone know Isabella? Yes, well, you'll never know Isabella again if you keep that up. I'll assume you're not talking about birds. Oh, please, do not tell me you know nothing of the Antivan Crows. We are the finest guild of assassins, an object of fear throughout the lands for any man with wealthy enemies. <laughs> or, I should say, they are. I am no longer a crow, a fact they find unacceptable. There must be more to it than you leaving the guild. That is offense enough to the crows, believe me. I may have also killed the last four assassins they sent after me, and uh, older men. Oh, and the guildmaster. In fact, if you were a crow, you might make a fortune bringing me in. <laughs> you should consider a career change. <laughs> no, really. I've been hired to find and capture you. Ah, let me guess. A man named Nuncio has asked you to capture a dangerous killer, yes? What did he say this time? That I killed his wife, butchered his parents, sold his children into slavery? Or did he tell you he was a lawman from Antiva, charged with apprehending a ridiculously handsome fugitive? I suppose you aren't a murderer at all, then. Oh, indeed I am. Uh, but technically, I imagine everyone here can rightfully claim that title. Bring me to Nancio if you wish, but I warn you, he surely intends to kill you. The crows do not like loose ends, unlike myself. But you are a man who can clearly handle himself, yes? Hmm? Why worry? So, you can either tie me up, gag me, and then manhandle me. Or you can take me to Nancio. Which will it be, I wonder? You're very compliant for a fugitive. Compliant, yes, and very bendy. But truthfully, I know when I am outmatched. I would rather take my chances against the Crows. You know him best. What do you think? I've had better. I meant about letting him go or not. Oh, right. I'd let him go. I'm not going to hand you over to someone who lied to me. As a suggestion, you might wish to deal with Nuncio. If you don't, he will only come after you. It's been more than a pleasure, my dear champion. Fare you well. You didn't tell me the assassin you wanted captured was once one of your own. Ah, uh, so Zevron told you, did he? It really doesn't matter. This time, his warden isn't here to protect him. I am thoroughly disappointed. No one fails the crows and lives. Ah, poor stupid Nuncio. The crows do like that saying, but I am living proof it's a lie. Why they insist on thinking they can kill people like you and the Warden, <laughs> I will never guess. Why didn't you go when you had the chance? To see the champion of Kirkwall in action? You couldn't keep me away. You are nothing but a traitor and a coward, Zevron. 
You'll die here. Yes, well, let's see how that works out for you. Excellent. Killing my former brothers in arms is oddly satisfying. I've little reward to offer you, champion, but perhaps this will serve as a token of my thanks. My dear Isabella, it has been a delight to see you again. You travel in fine company. That's it? You're leaving? What about sex? Ah, Isabella, I did so miss you. That's because you have piss-poor aim. Thankfully, you have other uses. I think I just threw up a little in my mouth. Ew. Captain? All quiet around here. Good. Carry on. Welcome home, Messiah. No attack? Here, boy. I have something to wet your teeth on. Freshly confiscated mutton, just for you. Have at it. Just checking on my best guardsman. 
He's helping the men to learn healthy respect and how to run. 